Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Various Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, we got one from Clown Shoes. This was sent to me by Rico, so thank you Rico for sending me the massive beer mail packages you have the last two times. And uh, it seemed like uh, the second one was more impressive than the first one, so uh, you're awesome guy. I mean, uh, high dollar beers in both of those beer mail packages. Uh, I was blown away both times, especially the second time. I was just beside myself with all the great beers that you had sent me. I mean, high dollar package, so thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Uh, and I can get some Clown Shoes beer, but I don't get all of them here. I mean, that's the way it is here in this part of Virginia. I mean, the beer distribution in this part of the state sucks out loud. The Enjoy By series, it takes two, two and a half weeks to get those beers here. You only got a week left to drink them time they show up here. That's how it is in Virginia. Beer distribution in Virginia sucks out loud, sucks hind titty, and it sucks donkey in hell. And I'll leave that to your imagination and don't want this to be too vulgar. But the beer distribution in Virginia is horrible. It is. Those guys got their head up their ass. They must be a bunch of crack smokers. It chaps my ass every time I think about it. It gets my blood pressure up and makes my This is a big beer, guys. This is a 12 percenter. This is a monster beer. It's, uh, this will definitely get you in the hammer lane really quick. This is Clown Shoes Garden State Rhapsody American Imperial Stout aged in rye barrels. And this was bottled on uh, January, and it's got it here on the side. I read it here earlier. Had to put my glasses on. I think it's a I got to put them back on again because it's sweating over top of it. This was bottled on January 28th, 29th of 2015. So this has been in a bottle well over a year. 13 months, 14 months, something like this. I'm reviewing this on uh, April Fool's Day. So, um, but I'm a week, about a week ahead or so. So you won't be seeing this probably till about the second week of April or so, or so somewhere in that area. I'm a big fan, like I said, of Clown Shoes beers, especially since they're putting the bottled on dates on everything now. Especially their monster beers like this, 12%. This will drink this one at home. This will definitely give you a buzz. So, with that being said, let's go over and see what the commercial description says on this particular one. From the depths of the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, the Jersey Devil joined forces with Crasher to annihilate snake demons and bring balance to the Garden State. We blended 12 rye barrels of undead party Crasher. And that was an excellent beer, guys. Uh, now, which is an Imperial Stout. With three rye barrels of an experimental barley wine ale to create this New Jersey exclusive beer. And they are calling this an Imperial Stout. So, uh, let's see what this brings to the table. Uh, food pairings for this style of beer, cheeses, buttery, brie, good, barley, Swiss. And it goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course, being uh, a monster beer like this, being a, uh, uh, a double imperial stout, whichever way you want to call it. And uh, the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat, glass for a pint, back in October, snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite glass here today. And it can be sold for a long, long, long time. 12%. 
this beer is going to keep 5, 10, 15, even 20 years if you sell it correctly. And it's just going to get more complex over time. There's nothing that I know of that's going to keep you from selling this beer. And it was only done once. It's already retired. So if you see it on the shelf and you want to try it, grab it now because it's not going to be there later. And they only done it once. Uh, they may re revive it uh, down the road, but right now it's listed as retired. So. With that being said, nothing else to talk about, so 12 percenter, this ought to get you a hammer in a hammer lane, what do you think? That ought to get you woody, your woody woody. Alright guys, let's see what we got out of this one. 12 percent, you think it's going to produce a head? That's what Monica said, give me the head. That's what she said. Alright guys. Mm, about a finger of head on that down the center pour. Very nice looking beer, very dark, very black. No light coming through it anywhere. None. Pitch black. Look kind of like uh, the used motor oil when I changed the oil in that Harley Davidson out there. Like 60 weight used. Pitch black. Pitch freaking black. And the head's already down to about a half a finger. Let's get a nose on it. Ah, slight hint of some rye whiskey in there. Not a big chocolatey notes on it right now. Hints of some molasses. Maybe a little, a little bit of cocoa in there. Not a huge nose on this beer. It smells pretty good though. Hmm. That time. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Thank you, sir. A little bit more alcohol than the one we did yesterday. Not quite as sweet, but very tasty. This is a little bit bigger than the 10.8% we did yesterday. This is 12%. This is a monster beer. This will... If you're not drinking this at home and you try to drink this out in the pub, try to drive home, you might look at, be looking at the end of that flashlight before you get there. And we don't want that to happen. No. Cocoa. Rye whiskey. Chocolate. Maybe some slight hints of some plum and dates raisins. Not as big a chocolatey notes as we had from the yesterday's beer. Maybe hints of some sort of tobacco in there. A little more subdued than yesterday's beer. A lot of those flavors were just popping. The vanilla and the coconut and all that was coming out. This one is a little more subdued. But it's a little bigger too. And I didn't get a chance to do a cigar with yesterday's beer. And it was a little bit on the sweeter side. So I think this may pair well with a, uh, a nice Maduro wrapped cigar. So I might, might go ahead and go outside and... Uh, and sip uh, on this and let it warm up the room temperature and of course I want to share the other half of this with the other half and uh, sip on this it is very tasty and the alcohol is kind of well hidden uh, you do know you're drinking a big beer I will tell you that and it's got it written on there too guys it, I'm pretty sure it tells you on here that it is a 12% alcohol by volume so got the date on it got the alcohol ABV on it uh, it doesn't have the year I mean it does have the year on it, it doesn't have the IBUs on it but uh, it's really irrelevant for this style of beer being an imperial stout so uh, we got all the information we need to purchase this beer and have all the information we need and what we need to sell this beer so very nice clown shoes very well done Y'all one of my favorites, I have to say that. Uh, Y'all have definitely stepped up to the plate over the last couple of years and, and given us the information as beer uh, drinkers and 
uh, crappier buyers that we need to have. The date, especially on this style, I mean, uh, a lot of times we just can't even get the year that these these beers are put in the bottle. You're giving us a month, day, and the year, and the ABV. Not the IBU, it's not that it's critical. If it was an IPA, I'd be fussing. But uh, in Imperial South, the IBUs are not that critical. So let me step on it, pour her a glass. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sitting on this about 30, 45 minutes or so. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Well done beer, as far as I'm concerned, from the guys up there at uh, Clown Shoes. A uh, little bit of oakiness in there. A uh, lot of rye whiskey in there. A little bit of coffee. A little bit of dark fruit, plums, raisins, dates, figs. Uh, went very well with the uh, Rocky Patel Super Ligero cigar that I was puffing on outside on the deck. To go with this. Very tasty. Very well done. 12 percenter now. This is a big boy's beer uh, that will put you there in a hammer lane very fast. And uh, not afraid to say that it put me there very fast. I've got, got a nice buzz going on with this beer. And poured the other half for her and uh, she loved it. Everything that's done in these uh, bourbon barrels, whiskey barrels, uh, she loves. And I do too. Uh, I have to admit, I, I do love a, a nice barrel aged beer. Uh, I have to be straight up honest with you. I can't think of anything I would do different to this beer. It is awesome. So let's do. Uh, it does have a slight booziness to it. You're drinking a 12% beer now. But it's not burning or doing anything crazy like that. Very smooth for a 12 percenter. Nice caramel, toffee, brown sugar, sweetness to it. Not overly sweet though. Not as sweet as yesterday's beer, but still very well done. Final chug. Another great beer to finish up the evening with, either to have with a, uh, a big dish or uh, even after dinner as your dessert. This is a, uh, just a monster beer. I'm, I'm, I keep saying that, but I should be aware you're drinking a 12 percenter now. It is a big, bold, rye whiskey barrel aged beer. So, very tasty. Rico. Once again, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate you sending this to me. Uh, I've not seen this one here. That doesn't mean it's not been here. Uh, uh, a lot of these beers, they show up and then they're gone the same day or the next day. And I don't get to the beer store as often as I should. But it is a very tasty beer. Very well done. Uh, to me, guys, uh, with the bottle on date on it and the ABV on the label, and that's basically all the information you need for a 12% Imperial Bourbon Barrel Aged Beer. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me. I, if I was paying a numeric rating on this, it would be a 98 or a 99. It's pretty damn tasty. If you say, oh, you're crazy. It's a 10 beer. I wouldn't argue with that. I would not argue with that at all. So, uh, for me, guys, uh, 9 out of 10. It is kicking the freaking doors down on being a 10. And like I said, uh, if you say it's a 10... I won't argue with that. If you say it's a B beer, I will argue with that. It is better than a B beer. So, A beer for me, uh, 98 in the scale, maybe even a 99 with the information they put on the bottle here. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 93, outstanding. It is outstanding. I think it's a little better than a 93, though. And over to Rate Beer, they say 94 overall and 46 in the style. Hmm. So, we got a 94, we got a 93, and we got a 98 from me. So, uh, very well made beer. A very nice beer to finish up the evening with, which is what I'm doing. Uh, final beer of the evening for me on this one. Uh, very tasty. Very, very, very tasty. Just remember you're drinking a 12 percenter. Drink this one at home or have somebody drive you after you've had this if you're drinking in a pub or a bar or, or wherever you drink your beers. Uh, don't want to see anybody get in trouble. And this one will get you into trouble if you're drinking 
at least uh, this is a bomber, a 22 ouncer. So if you drink all this by yourself, you're going to have a buzz, no doubt. So with that being said, guys, it's very, very tasty. So Rico, thank you, brother. I do appreciate you sending this to me. It was awesome. It was damn awesome. Uh, I'm surprised I did not see this in the, uh, well, the tab is done on dark here. I'm surprised I didn't see this when it came out, but like I said, I don't get to the beer store every week. So, I mean, if this showed up and it was bought in the first day or two or three, uh, and when I went out there, it was gone. So, uh, with that being said, and it's a retired beer now. They brewed it once. So, uh, if you see it, pick it up. Give it a try. And if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, this is the Garden State Rhapsody from Clown Shoes. Uh, an Imperial Double Whiskey. Whiskey. Rye Whiskey Barrel Aged Beer. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, with that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. I thought it was damn awesome. Great beer to finish up the evening with. And, uh, let me know what you think if you've had it. So, we'll back tomorrow. Let's see what we can dig out of the fridge. I've got a lot of great beers in there. See you then.